Welcome to Chess Wire. I'm your host, Adam Carter, with your chess news. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. In your headlines today, GM Ilya Severin has been fired by FIDE for sexist remarks made during the Women's Grand Prix tournament. Also, when will Magnus Carlsen realize he's become the Donald Trump of chess? All of this today on Chess Wire. Okay, so first we're going to start out with this tweet that I put out the other day because I thought it was just funny. Um, Magnus had was talking with Ikaru here, and you're talking about throwing the last game didn't even work, and they were like having some banter. And I, I really started thinking about all of these things that would have to be involved in order for Neiman to successfully cheat. And I realized something that, he, that, that Carlson had very much so in common with Donald Trump, and that is that he was not going to accept the fact that Neiman won fair and square. And just like Donald Trump won't accept the election results, that Biden won fair and square. And I started thinking about some of these, and I just decided to post a joke tweet. tweet. And I said, uh, I'm wondering when you're going to stop being the Donald Trump of chess. Uh, number one, I'm the best. Uh, Ken's Regan software is rigged. There were irregularities in the evolution of, of Hans Niemann's uh, professional chess life. Um, so, you know, these were just a few that like popped into my head. I had a few others as well. Uh, but obviously, uh, the Norwegian goon squad uh, for Magnus came out in full force. And, and <laughs> I don't think that they realized that they were helping my point. He said, he is the best. So now he is unable to detect Hans' progress over the past two years, surpass Bobby Fischer and Ali Reza. There are irregularities. And yes, no, maybe, I don't know. I think he was responding to my ellipsis at the end of that uh, tweet that I'd had. And I just simply responded, you know you're making my point for me. So this is going to be a special edition of Chesswire today. Cue the Mission Impossible music in three, two, one. Hans, this is your mission should you choose to accept it. Over the next two years, you will first acquire anal beads. These anal beads will be fitted with a transmitter that will send you Morse code to tell you the correct moves to make in every competition you have. If for some reason your anus is sore, then next we acquire Raspberry Pi. We then program Raspberry Pi to understand Morse code through foot taps. You will have to hide this device somehow, get, get it past security wants, then run the wires down your leg to this shoe that has been outfooted with this device that can send Morse code back to the engine so that way it knows what moves it should send you back and then you interpret that Morse code. Last, we have to acquire Kenneth Regan software, reverse engineer it, understand how it works so that way we can avoid any type of anti-cheating red flags by moving outside of the standard deviations for cheating. Do you accept this mission over the next two years? Next, we're going to go ahead and move here to this chess.com article, chess commentator sacked for making sexist remarks. Now, this was the other day. This was Grandmaster Ilya Severin. Um, he is uh, Russian-born, I believe, and he won a few titles there, got his Grandmaster title, then he immigrated to Israel. We'll go ahead and check out, and I wanted to make him human to you all at first. This is why I was talking about that. We'll see what chess.com has to say about it. This is Peter Dodgers. The International Chess Federation has removed GM Ilya Shmierman from commentary job at the FIDE Women's Grand Prix in Astina, Kazakhstan, uh, for making sexist remarks during a live broadcast. FIDE called the Israeli Grandmaster's remarks completely unacceptable and offensive. And we'll go ahead before I get into any of my thoughts on this and check out exactly what he said. There was a tweet here from, I, I'm i not even going to try and pronounce this chick's name. Okay, so let's just get into it and see what he said. Is a GM norm possible for you in this event? She is not grandmaster. No, she is actually not even international master. I believe she. I mean, is. she's woman grandmaster or what? She's woman grandmaster. Yeah. Why she wants to be like main grandmaster in this case? <laughs> so to answer the question, it must be possible. Yeah, I guess there are enough. What do they need? Three grandmaster opponents, right? Well, it's possible basically to make a yeah. main uh, norm in the women tournament. Of course, why not? Mm, I don't know. I mean, for instance, for instance, why not? Why women can play with men and men cannot play with women? It's <laughs> also why not? <laughs> Question for another day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so I've seen enough. Uh, I think that this guy's making some bad jokes here. He's from obviously from a different country. I think he was born in Russia, then immigrated to Israel. I think he was born, if I remember correctly, in 1965. So this is the you know mid 20th century, and he's from these countries that you know have a past of you know a lot of sexism, a lot of machismo, that type of thing. And he's come here, and he's now in the 21st century with 21st century wokeness, always on the lookout for any type of offense. And we see this gal here um, she says isn't it a pure form of discrimination how can such a man work in the official feed a chess broadcast of such an important women's event now um how can such a man um and I want I want to I'm going to I'm going to do do these uh the the zennial crowd these are generation z and millennial uh kids uh a little favor here first of all let me tell you something real real easy to understand Number one, you are a product of your environment. So, were you born as a man in Russia in the mid fifth in the mid twentieth century? You would be exactly like him. You wouldn't just be born miraculously with this set of morals that you've learned here in the most privileged country in the world and the richest country in the world. You wouldn't have this education that gave you this set of morals or these set of ethics. You would be exactly like him. And so a little bit of compassion goes a long way, but not in the 21st century you see you have the scales of justice this, this guy says something and you go that, that that's that's you know not not good that's that's bad that's you know it's sexist i don't like it and then so what you do is you say okay he does you know he he needs to apologize for this and we're gonna say okay he apologizes he sees the error of his ways scales of justice evened out but no, 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 not to Xennials. They, they've been told their entire lives how victimized you all are. There's this malice now. And so getting fired isn't good enough. They, they've went off the rails here. This is totally illiberal. Liberalism is, is egalitarianism. It's where you go, uh, you know, this guy's from this country. He doesn't understand our ways. He doesn't understand these new ethics. And, you know, we give him a slap on the wrist, say, hey, you need to apologize. He goes, oh, my bad. Um, but no. No, it, it's it's malice. So we have to come after his job now. You know, a, well, maybe a fine. Maybe he should be fined as well. Or, or maybe jail. Maybe jail. Maybe that way he's got some time to think. Or better yet, we could we could re-educate him. Yes, a, a, a camp where you're really educated So that way we know that his heart's been changed. So my whole point that I'm trying to make here is, is, is that this is actually worse behavior from FIDE and from these people than what this guy said. It's worse behavior. Because what you're doing is you're saying, unless you think like me, unless you act like me, unless you talk like me, unless you vote like me, you don't deserve a livelihood. So we can see that Magnus clearly lost to Hans Niemann. Hans did not cheat. There was no way that he, he could have possibly done it. And if he had that much genius, then why would he need to cheat, just not study hard at chess? Maybe the irregularities about him progressing as fast as he did is because he's just a talented guy who worked really, really hard. If we remember, Michael Jordan wasn't even accepted to his college basketball team at first. And then he worked really hard and became the GOAT of basketball, never to be seen again, the likes of which never to be seen again. And then I want to go ahead and get on here to this uh, this this whole outrage uh, from 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 the grandmaster who was fired. Um, the millennials need to stop being and zennials or Z's or whoever y'all are need to stop with the victimization stuff. Okay, just stop it. You're on a fast track to totalitarianism and fascism, and it's it's gonna get ugly. Okay, you're not liberal at all. You're not. The definition of liberalism is is egalitarianism. It's 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 to have compassion when somebody makes that mistake. You you go ahead and give them some grace, some compassion, some leeway. You don't try and take away the livelihood from them, okay? If they apologize, if they try to do better, then you've done your job and we're living together in a harmonious society that's more conducive to the, 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 greater, the greater good, okay? And that's not what y'all are doing. You're not liberal, okay? And I just want to say and finish up with... Um, it, you know, you keep going down this road of punishing people like this and the devil will smile on that day because you've become the evil which you sought to destroy. Thank you for watching Chesswire. Have a good one.